If you, like me, are a history lover, the second weekend in July is the perfect time to come and visit the Green River Rendezvous in Pinedale, Wyoming. The West was founded on fashion. Believe it or not, the first mountain men came to the West in search of beaver fur for top hats. The original rendezvous from 1824-1840 were the best opportunity to lay in supplies for the coming winter, renew acquaintances, tell tales, drink, laugh, and get rowdy. Nowadays, the Green River Rendezvous consists of cultural events such as lessons at the Museum of the Mountain Man, a parade, rodeos every night, a pageant, and some places that have live music. But of course, you cannot miss Trader's Row, the boots, and the food trucks. <laughs> hey guys, so we are at Rendezvous. Yay! 2022. Look at this. It's beautiful. We have been on um, the boots first and then we're going to get a funnel cake. Because mm, I want funnel cake. <laughs> we are having funnel cake and look at Cassie's. Mm, yum yum. Cassie's a friend by the way. So if you're hungry, this is a place to be at Rendezvous. It's next to the uh, boots and they have all sorts of things fried things most of them <laughs> they are really good we just had a funnel cake and they, it was really really fantastic so there you go this is the um, food area and as you can see it's right across from the boots <laughs> You can see the boots there on the background. So, ta -da! At Trader's Row, you can find all sorts of handmade leather and fur goodies. You can also find a blacksmith doing his thing. Right now, I'm heating up my steel for making some flint strikers. So, the pieces start out like this. I heat them work them, taper each end out until it gets nice and pointed on it, then I'm going to wrap it around and make a curl. So this is just a decorative little piece. Do that on both ends. I have two of them going at one time. Oh, nice. That way it keeps me busy. <laughs> I'm going to crank this, I'm pulling air in right here, and push it up under the bottom of the fire. So I'm superheating my fire. Oh, that's interesting. I can actually get the fire over 3,000 degrees. Oh. So this tin that's right here, I'm making char cloth in it. Char cloth is what you use with the flint striker to start a fire. Now both ends are twisted. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> now I'll heat it back up. And I'll actually form it to look like this. Oh, and what do you do with those? So these are flint strikers. 
So use this with a piece of flint and it creates spark. Oh. So the char cloth that I'm making is 100% carbon. So when you strike this on it, the carbon will actually begin to burn as an ember. And that ember then can be taken and put into a pile of grass and blown into a fire. Oh, cool. Very interesting. Thank you, thank You're you welcome. very much. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. The Museum of the Mountain Man dedicates to preserving the culture around here. They do a great job. Every year, they collaborate with the American Mountain Men Association. These mountain men camp on the premises of the museum and give a variety of classes to people, from hot sun blankets and shanties to beaver trapping and skinning demonstration. They transport you to the early 1800s. That and they paid off everything, and uh, and then of course they could, you know, everything after that, the uh, company would just keep track of. If they ever left the company and decided to go back home, if they were in debt to the company, they had to figure out a way to pay that. If the company was in debt to them, they would actually, the company would sign a little paper and say, okay, we owe uh, Julieta, um, we owe her, you know, $150 in, in pelts. And when Julieta got back to St. Louis, she would turn that into the main company headquarters and they would give her her $150. Okay. Um, the There's action for the cowboys as well. Every night they have rodeo night. It is a fun night where the locals demonstrate their rodeo skills. You cannot miss the parade Saturday morning where the community gathers and celebrates itself. It is so lovely to see familiar faces in the parade. Hello. Are you having a nice run, baby? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you? Oh, yeah. It's, it's fun, right? It's a parade. Hey. Suppose you want to see the community working together, learn about the history of this part of Wyoming, and see fabulous equestrian skills. In that case, you cannot miss the Green River Rendezvous pageant, where they introduce you to the main characters that made Sublette County. The beginnings of the fur trade and the pony dancers show their equestrian skills by riding horses bareback. It is a beautiful way to say goodbye to the Green River Rendezvous. So, are you gonna meet me on the green? Remember to subscribe to our channel and follow us on our social media.